What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW action figure review on the AEW Unrivaled ringside exclusive first dance CM Punk figure. Now, if you're wondering why I'm holding the figure, it's because if you let it go, it's gonna fall flat on its face. As you guys know, this comes in like some like special edition ice cream bar packaging, so it does have the flap here. It had another flap here, but I cut it off. As you guys see, I videoed like a short little video of the actual packaging before cutting this off because I thought cutting Cutting this off, I'd be able to stand it right here, but that is not the case. It still falls flat on its face, so I do apologize for that, but you guys saw a look at the package. As you guys can see, it is in white. Looks pretty good. You got the front viewing window. You do have the ice cream bar silhouette right there on the front. Got the CM Punk or Chicago flag. AEW Unrivaled Collection logo right there in the gold foil. Down here, you got CM Punk, best in the world. Down here, you got eight pieces. This is a toy, not real food. Do not eat. It's sad that they even have to say that. Like I said, you got the flap at the top. You got the red bar at the bottom, Chicago stars at the flap that I that I cut off on the side you get the CM Punk logo CM Punk you got an image of Punk there number 93 CM Punk signature nice shot of the back here with the ringside exclusive logo AEW and rival logo CM Punk logos a nice shot of Punk there AEW rampage the first dance and he's already gone the first and last dance if you ask me on the other side you got more logos CM Punk CM Punk there and then AEW and rivaled right there man I'm pretty hyped for this figure I think that it's gonna have some good stuff going on I'm excited to see you know with the shirt he's got all of his full tattoo detail on here got the black joggers going we'll see how it goes but let's shut the hell up and crack him out of his packaging all right, guys, so here's CM Punk out of the packaging, of course, with his ice cream bar and all the good stuff going on. Figure doesn't look half bad. You know, I'm not the biggest CM Punk fan, but I am kind of excited for the figure. I like the jogger pant legs. I think you got a lot of accessibility with that. You can move it around a lot. It feels good in hand, at least at the first glance. We are going to get into the details, of course, but it looks like CM Punk's in hot water. It looks like he's about to leave AEW already, so this could be one of the last CM Punk figures we see, especially the, the last ringside exclusive, unless one drops really, really fast. I don't know the, all the details, of course, about that, but... We shall see as things come out, but apparently on the rumor mill, it looks like he's not coming back, so we'll have to see about that, what comes of it, but this CM Punk figure is looking pretty good so far. We'll have to dive into it and find out, but you guys know how it works. We're going to run through the accessories first, then we'll take a closer look at the figure itself, and then, of course, we'll pack it all up and get out of here. So let's get into the accessories that come with this ringside exclusive CM Punk. All right, guys, so getting into CM Punk's accessories, this being a ringside exclusive, you are going to get a little bit here. Of course, you get two cloth items, two interchangeable head sculpts, plenty of interchangeable hands, and of course, some, uh, you, you knew they included the AEW microphone they must include it it's like a, a you get the deal starting out first we did see this exact larry hoodie with the aew and match series 4 cm punk of course it's got his dog on the back there it's a nice gimmick but i don't trust it i think it's going to stain my figure you know the unmatched series 4 has a problem with staining i imagine it's going to do the same thing but you got larry on the front there the little jordan pin that they added on there fake pockets it is velcro on the front and it does have a hood on it i'm not going to use it but you also get his aew shirt i do believe this is his first aew shirt it's got the best in the world graphic on there very clean it's got the white base black cuffs on the neck and the sleeves on the back you do have the cm punk i was there i'm actually shocked that they put the graphic on the back they never put the graphic on the back so to see them do that is actually a nice step in the right direction but it is velcro as you guys saw don't think it'll stain because it is a white shirt you know it's not black so it's not going to put that ink into the into the skin tone of the figure but it is cool that they printed it on there it gets a little bit you know messy with the w right there kind of overlapping and then the there down there but still you know what i'll i'll take it i'd rather it have the graphic on the back miss printed a tad than just plain white i guess but it is a cool accessory it looks good on the figure and i can't complain it's cloth goods it will never complain about cloth goods it's better than rubber next up we have two interchangeable heads you guys know as well as i do these look like nico from gta4 but it's like an angry smirking head this is not the same head sculpt we saw with the walmart exclusive punk or the chase variant punk this is actually like a more pissed off angry cm punk and then you have the straight face that we saw with the aew unmatched series 4 we will do the comparison in a moment actually f it let's just do it now so here you go this is the walmart exclusive the ringside exclusive and then the regular unmatched series four three different heads and he's already out of the company but these heads aren't bad they just don't really look like cm punk that much i've seen people customize them add some great details and stuff and it, it stands out a lot more and actually the likeness is a lot better but yeah i'm just not i'm not on board with them they're decent i guess this one's probably the best one as far as likeness this one just looks like he i don't, I don't even know not the not the best to be honest with you outside of that we also have the ice cream bar accessory it is solid like plastic i guess it looks like an ice cream bar in a pack 
packaging. You got the CM Punk logo on there. I think they handed these out for free to people that attended the event. I think Bretto Live was there. He got one. He even got one to keep, I think. So that's pretty cool there. I think this is a pretty cool accessory to include. You knew they were going to include a microphone. I mean, good God in heaven. It's like our 97th AEW microphone we've seen in the line so far. And then you have interchangeable hands, which is probably the most unique is this CM Punk holding ice cream bar hand. It is not removable, but the sculpt is nice. It does have the paint detail in there. You got the chocolate covering. You got the white filling or the vanilla ice cream on the inside. You got the stick in there. The only thing that sucks is it is a CM Punk hand. You guys can see there it says drug across the fingers. So that means that you'd have to acetone that off if you wanted anybody to hold the ice cream bar. I thought it was like a separate thing, but I think it's still a cool hand accessory. You also get a right mic holding hand that does say drug on it there without the ice cream bar. You have another grappling hand that is the right hand that says drug there. That's nothing. And then you have two left hands. The mic holding with all the tattoo detail here. It says free. And then you do have the other left hand there that is a regular grappling hand. So you have the mic holding hand and then you have the regular grappling slash weapon holding or whatever the hell hand you want to call it. But a decent amount of accessories with the CM Punk figure. But that wraps those up. Let's get into the figure itself. All right, guys. So getting into the head sculpt of the CM Punk, we already took a look at it. I'm going to be real with you, like right off the cuff. His trap to neck to head here just looks very odd. I, I don't know what's going on here. Just for a quick comparison between this one and the last Punk, am I insane? They like beefed up his traps or something right here in this area, or maybe it sits too low. I don't know what's going on there, but it's definitely off. It just looks like he's. It looks like this man is is just stiff in the neck, like he can't even move. I don't know if it's because they redid the torso, or if the head sits too low, or if they beefed up the neck a little bit. I don't know what's going on there, but he looks very weird. It looks like he's trying to hold. I don't know. It just. I, I don't know what it looks like, but it doesn't look good. It looks off at some point for sure. But I went ahead and took the shirt off. We can look at it what it looks like in the shirt in a moment when we do our comparisons. But I did want to get a shot of all the tattoo detail. You do get your Cobra tattoo on the shoulder. You get the Pepsi logo over here on this shoulder. You do get all the back tats or, or the shoulder tats over here. I think the main selling point though is going to be the full wrist and hand tats because usually he does have white tape on there and he, they did do a good job of all this. The deco looks good. They're not pinless. They do have the pins in there which kind of sucks but as far as everything else goes I think it looks pretty good. You know I'm not a tattoo connoisseur as far as CM Punk's tattoos. I don't know what the hell they look like all the time but uh, to the blind eye or to the naked eye I think they look pretty good. I think they did a pretty good job here. I do enjoy the molding we're getting on these legs, like the jogger pants or whatever. They got some stripes going down the side. You do get some nice wrinkles on there. The pockets look good. Lots of articulation going on, and you do have the trainers right here. Don't remember off the cuff what shoes he was wearing, but I'm sure I could figure that out in the blink of an eye, but at the end of the day, it is kind of standard, but you do get a lot of cool accessories with this guy. I mean, you can kind of see the neck deal that I'm talking about right here. I mean, look how damn stumpy lumpkins he looks, man. I don't know, man. Like, look how he looks, and then we'll just do a quick torso swab just for the shishes and gigs here. Just pop that off there, put this on. Now look at that. You can't tell me it doesn't look better, and it kind of, I don't know, it gives you kind of a different deal there in the joggers with the, you know, with the white hand tape or whatever the hell. And this figure's, I think, taller than that one for some reason, but I do want to get the comparisons in here, and then I'll put the shirt on, and we'll see what the comparisons look like again, if this mother effer will stand. All right, guys, so for your CM Punk figure comparisons, here is the Walmart exclusive CM Punk. You have the ringside exclusive in the middle, of course, and then you do have the Unmatched Series 4, but I did switch the legs there to make it where he has the trunks detail, so I do have to get another one of those, but there's the comparison. You kind of have your long tights, you have your trunks, and then you have your jogger slash backstage gear, or street attire, whatever the hell you want to say. So he got all three versions and then dipped out of the company. I know we have the Ring of Honor coming soon as well, but, you know, they, they just dipped the hell out of there, but let's put the shirt on there, and then we will... We'll, uh, see what he looks like in the shirt compared to everybody else and I'll throw the Elite 16 up there. Alright, so there's the shirt on there. Honestly, kind of baggy. I didn't notice it being that baggy before. It's supposed to be tight on the biceps and not be so John Brown baggy, man. I don't know. I don't I don't really like it. He kind of looks like a grandpa going grocery shopping in like his 70s a little bit. I, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that as much. But it, I get, you know what? This, this shirt was made better. I think Mattel did it better. I know it's not the same shirt, but you get the point. Should I switch shirts just to see what it looks like? And there you go. And honestly, they both look like shit. No, but seriously, though, it's not bad. You know, the shirt obviously is older, but I don't know. I feel like this one's a little bit too baggy, but it's still clean nonetheless, and you do get the shirt in there. So is it that big of a negative? You could always get a custom shirt made at the end of the day. Go hit up PWR Lucha. He's the best in the game, but I want to get this. Uh, actually, let's leave this here, and let's just go ahead, and let's, let's get this in here, and then let's bring in the Elite Series 16, which there you go. There's all of them up next to each other that you can do for comparisons, but I also forgot to do a articulation thing. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's go ahead and see the articulation, and then we'll do a torso swap with CM Punk to see what the joggers look like on uh, on a different character. Alright guys, so as far as articulation, he doesn't have long hair, so he can actually look down and up pretty decently.
Hopefully he does, you know, go all the way up to 90 here with the shirt on. You're not going to get full rotation because the shirt's on there, but the bicep swivel's not as loose as we've seen in the past. Hands are kind of loose, not terrible though. You get a good ab crunch because AEW figures always do. You get a great split. He can kick forward pretty good as well, I'd say. I think that's pretty good. You get the upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. You do get the shin cut, and then you do get an ankle pivot and the feet move up and down. So the articulation's nice. He feels good in the hand and all that stuff. I just, uh, that weird torso thing, man, or the weird neck thing, I think is what really it is. But if we do switch the torso, you can put guys like Kenny Omega in the street gear right here if you want to do that. So, I mean, do you want to buy this figure just for that? I don't know, but I think you could get away with it right there. It looks like Karate Kid Kenny or something. Like, he could beat the hell out of somebody. I think that looks good. And then you could even take the Series 5 Unmatched Kenny and you could put these shoes on here and then you'd have white sneakers on there. That may be something we do at a later date. Maybe if I could get some of these on clearance or something and just play around with that. I think you could get some good stuff going on there, but I don't know, kind of for shishes and gigs. Let's just see what this looks like on this torso. Just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta experiment a little bit just to, you know, see what that looks like. It's not as fancy, I don't think, as the blue jeans with the white kicks, but I, yeah, I don't know. You may be able to swing that, you know? Nonetheless, the CM Punk neck sucks and it looks awkward, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty solid figure. You get some cool accessories, but let's shut the hell up about CM Punk. But I think that pretty much wraps up this CM Punk ringside exclusive first dance AEW on Rivaled Action figure review, man. Actually digging the way the hoodie looks on the figure over the t-shirt. I wasn't really expecting me to like it, but it actually looks really good. I'm afraid it's going to stain the figure, so after I finish this segment, I'm absolutely going to take it off because I don't trust it, as you guys know, with any experience with these, but I think the hoodie combo with the shirt and the joggers and the shoes really cleans it up nice. I think that's a pretty cool addition there. If this figure drops in value or if I'm able to get more, I probably will because I really like this leg articulation. Again, it moves around nice and does all the good things well that you like to see. However, I think that it's a solid release. I think if you have not quite gotten the other figures, I think if you're a big CM Punk guy, I absolutely go grab it. I, I think it's a pretty good piece here. Not my favorite of all time. Not a big CM Punk guy, but I can still appreciate a good figure when it's in, in, in the, you know, here in the review station, of course, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's nothing groundbreaking. I think if you were at the event, it's definitely cool to kind of replicate that moment and have that as a timepiece. Lots of different things you can do there, but that is going to wrap up the CM Punk review, man. But before we get out of here, we do have to get into our random shout out, of course. And today's shout out is going to go to my man, Gavin Clark. <laughs> <clears throat> on my last video, which not a lot of you watched, which I don't know why. I don't know if YouTube didn't push it out or you just get, didn't give a damn about the figures in general. You guys can leave me the, your thoughts there. But I pinned the top comment and said, love y'all. And he replied, no, I love you. Only guy to reply. Always appreciate Gavin. What a baller. What a beast. Good luck tonight. Love that kid. Hopefully he balls out. Nonetheless, man, random shout outs going to my man, Gavin. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, have a blessed one. And I forgot to mention this is a ringside exclusive. If you guys would like to grab this, go over there. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, of course, when you shop over there. And uh, that's it, man. Have a blessed one. I'll see you next time.